Welcome to another special episode of Newsmakers. We have with us once again a very special guest, the man who has been in the news for almost a year now uh, and has got a special offering for India from Europe, the Mahindra Renault Logan. We have with us Mr. Rajesh Jijirikar, who has been the MD of Mahindra Renault. It's been quite a uh, eventful year for you, uh, Rajesh. Yeah. How has it been? Are you satisfied with the results now? Well, the uh, eventful time actually started two years back. And that was in uh, February 2005 when we uh, signed the joint venture agreement with Renault and uh, when Mahindra Renault got conceptualized. Uh, it's been a very, very hectic and challenging two years. This uh, two years entailed adapting this product to India uh, because obviously a product which is just made in Europe is not going to automatically succeed in India. There also wasn't a right hand drive version. So we had to create a right hand drive version. We uh, understood various aspects that Indian customers would want and would be relevant to India. Uh, example air conditioning and many other such things though Indian driving cycle. Uh, Indians drive very differently, the gear change habits are very different. So a lot of the product had to be adapted to really make it India ready. So uh, we also set up a plant, we have a high level of localization. So there was a lot happening in the last two years. So yeah, you're right, it was very eventful too. But uh, I think for one year nearly you were very silent on it after the signing and all there was a lot of secrecy attached to it. Yeah. It goes back to I think uh, the way you launched Scorpio also, a lot of secrecy and then this big bang. Yeah, so the, the way we sort of approached it obviously is uh, when we need to work, we spend time working on it and that's what we really did a lot in the first year. So the first year really was about getting the project plan in place, committing ourselves to a deadline, uh, man making sure we managed our costs right. And of course, uh, from a marketing standpoint, we, we believe that uh, the launch is more impactful if uh, people haven't seen the product earlier. So we really like to reveal the product at the right time when it's fully done up rather than in parts. Okay, but uh, Logan had made a lot of news in Europe and it has been a you know, huge seller there. Yeah. Are you happy with the numbers that you have seen up till now here? Well, uh, we, we are very excited about the numbers. Uh, we started in a phased manner in April. So we started with Bombay uh, 9th April and then added three cities a week or so later and then other cities towards the end of April. So effectively we've had about 20-25 days of booking time if you average out the 11 cities. There are currently only 11 cities. We had bookings of about 3,000 vehicles. Uh, 3,000 vehicle booking in a market which is 40% of the total market we think is uh, very creditable. So it's really saying uh, roughly in a month's time we've got 6,000 bookings. Uh, in a time when people have to wait four to six weeks to get a delivery, equivalent of 6,000 bookings uh, is, is, we believe, was very good for a product category like this. Why, Rajesh, after so many weeks of uh, launch, we have still not seen the car on the road? Why, why? The car is on the road now. We have started deliveries uh, around the 10th of May and uh, we've already built 1500 vehicles in the last 15 days. So the car is on Has the road. Has there been some delay in the... <coughs> no, even when we launched on uh, 9th April, we said we would start deliveries 30 days from the start of booking in the respective market. So we started our delivery absolutely on time 9th of May in Bombay and uh, likewise in the other towns. So the deliveries have been in line with what our expectations are. Okay. But uh, when you launch the car, you officially uh, showcase the car. Uh, the dealers didn't seem to have the car. So what was the reason that... Uh, uh, there has been a delay in the dealers getting the car. So the dealers, for example, Bombay, we started bookings on 9. The dealers had the display car and test drive cars on 9. And likewise in Delhi, Bangalore and Chennai on 14. So there were really cars for displays and test drives which were given. And we wanted to start deliveries in a consolidated manner rather than a piecemeal manner. Which is why we were waiting for a certain number of cars to be produced and ready before we started delivery. That's why once we started delivery, we built 1500 already. And we will be building a larger number during the course of the month. So what, what kind of response have you got from the people who have test drive in the car? What, what do you feel? What have they spoken about the car? Because European cars, uh, one really actually realizes that Indians don't have so much of a taste for the European cars. Uh, what has been the response for the Logan? Well, let me first share with you the conversion date on test drives. So uh, we've so far given about uh, 11,000 test drives and we've had 3,000 bookings on that. We had a total of about 22,000 inquiries in this period of time. So clearly that's an indication of the kind of excitement. 22,000 bookings in uh, 11 cities, roughly 1,000 per day kind of inquiries, you know, in just 11 cities. So there has been a lot of excitement about around the product. 
कन्वर्टिंग थर्टी थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ टेस्ट ड्राइव इन टू बुकिंग्स इन अ पीरियड ऑफ थ्री वीक्स और ऑल्सो इज अ वेरी गुड कन्वर्जन वी वीड एनालाइज द टेस्ट ड्राइव स्कॉट एंड वी गॉड एस ऑल ऑन अ फाइव पॉइंट रेटिंग स्केल अ रेटिंग ऑफ अबाउट फोर पॉइंट टू विच अगेन इज अज अ गुड स्कॉट ऑन अ टेस्ट ड्राइव वेर पीपल डोंट हैव अ कंप्लीट एक्सपीरियंस दे आर यू नो सॉट ऑफ डूइंग अ ट्वेंटी मिनट काइंड ऑफ टेस्ट एक्सपीरियंस सो Uh, the feedback has been very positive. The clear winners, of course, are space and comfort. The drive, the driving uh, comfort, especially around diesel and even on petrol, is very good. So, really, the standout points are space and drive performance. Most of the auto magazines have rated fuel efficiency very, very well, very highly. We claim on diesel, for example, a fuel efficiency of 14 to 18, which is what we are telling customers. Auto magazines are even getting a better fuel efficiency uh, than that. Obviously, that doesn't come out in the test drive, and customers will rely on auto expert feedback in the initial phase, and then of course, word of mouth and more customers get it. The first phase of customers who've got it are experiencing this kind of fuel efficiency. So we believe fuel efficiency is also going to be a very very strong part of the proposition of this product. And uh, do you think word of mouth is going to be a big thing for you all? Because uh, as you were mentioning before, that the car itself uh, would probably pick up the sales would pick up post. You know, your people start using it and drive it. Yeah, you are you are right, Vijay. We we believe that experience is going to be a very important part of this uh, proposition because space is something you need to experience it. It's, it's when you are out with your family, you realize the benefit of space. It's when you are going out and you see the boot space is so amazing. You need to experience that to really start telling people, wow, what an experience I had. Likewise, with fuel efficiency, you need to make a few trips. You try it out a few times, and then you say, wow, what a great uh, fuel efficiency it is. And that's really what is going to increase the momentum that we already have to the start. So we strongly believe that as more vehicles get on the road, the Logan is really going to catch even faster momentum than it is. And, and diesel seems to be having an edge over petrol. Also. Diesel has an edge. Diesel has an edge over petrol. Diesel has. Uh, Uh, has uh, 70% of the volumes are coming from diesel, and that's in line with what we were expecting because uh, the diesel is very quiet. Uh, in fact, when we are test driving the diesel, we don't tell customers that they're test driving a diesel, and they really can't make out that they've driven a diesel. It's it's that quiet and uh, that good a performance, and very very good fuel efficiency. In a country like India, where diesel fuel prices are low, uh, the fuel efficiency is very high, and you don't have any of the negatives of diesel. It's a very good uh, common rail diesel engine, and we expect uh, diesel engines to do very well. Of course, uh, for those who don't want to drive, uh, you know, don't drive the product long distances, petrol is also a very good option. So uh, I think we have a we have a winning product on our hands. Okay, Rajesh, we'll talk a lot more about Logan probably on the competitors also yeah. on the industry itself. We need to take a short break. Keep watching your makeup.